the EU is furious with AstraZeneca uh, and that fury is not being abated by the company because at the moment it would seem that the European Union thinks it is basically shouting at a brick wall. Uh, right, well, what is the basis of this is that AstraZeneca uh, and the EU have a contract. The EU signed up to buy hundreds of millions of doses of this vaccine once it had been authorised. That hasn't happened yet. It's probably going to happen on Friday uh, and at that point point, the 27 member states of the European Union were expecting to get the first of about 80 million doses over the course of the first three months of this year. Trouble is, last week they were told that that would be cut by, well, at the time it seemed 60 percent. Now we're hearing by perhaps even more than that. And they are extremely angry at that, not least because they see the UK supply as not being disrupted. Now, the reason that AstraZeneca is given is production difficulties, but the EU says, well, that doesn't wash with them. Why? Well, because they are adamant that their contract says that Basically, if the, there is no hierarchy. So how can it be that the UK is getting all of the doses it's been promised and the EU is having to suffer? Flip side is, UK signed up earlier. No, says the EU. That doesn't wash. Uh, there's no hierarchy, which means we should all be treated fairly. Now, yesterday, the chief executive of AstraZeneca gave an interview to Republica, and in that he shared some details of the contract. He said that there was no obligation to deliver. It was down to the best efforts of the company. And that, would you believe, in turn has infuriated the European Commission, which says he's now breached confidentiality, and if he's going to start spilling some of the beans, he might as well spill all of them by publishing the contract, because they say within that it'll stick up to their position. It all sounds terribly complicated. It is very complicated. But it's also really, really inflammatory, because at its heart, this is the European Union thinking that it is being treated as second best by a UK company, well, a UK headquartered company, it's also uh, part Swedish, is AstraZeneca, and it says that it will fight for the rights of EU citizens.